Now I recently had a birthday, and it made me realize that I've never actually put any thought into where the celebration comes from. I mean, I get it, you know, of course you physically age by a year, and we as a society use that as a marker for being able to go out and legally vote, drink, have sex, get married, get a job, I mean even purchasing a freaking energy drink in some places. But all in all, it's just a celebration of the day that you finally popped out of, uh... The, the stork speak. Yeah, that's what I was going for for the younger viewers out there. The, the day the stork delivered you. So I decided to do some research into why we celebrate birthdays the way we do. The tradition seems to date back to ancient Egypt. How ancient, you ask? We're talking over 3000 BC at least. When someone was crowned a pharaoh, they were considered to have become a god. And the day of their coronation was celebrated yearly from that point onwards. This is basically where birthdays began and at this point you're only going to see royalty celebrating them. Fast forward a little bit and ancient Romans start celebrating birthdays for the common man, with public holidays even being held for more famous citizens. But at this time, they were only celebrated for men. But don't, don't worry, calm down, women later gained the right to have birthdays too, back in 1918, where they campaigned for equal rights. Okay, my bad, it was actually more likely around the 12th century, but I imagine they did also celebrate them back in ancient Rome, it was just less customary of the time period. So now we have an idea where celebrating birthdays originated, but why do we eat cake? Well, the idea of candles and cake came from the ancient Greeks, who much like the ancient Egyptians, celebrated the birthdays of their gods. Except instead of men with hats, they were statues of men without hats. On the goddess Artemis's birthday, the ancient Greeks used to make an offering of a moon-shaped cake with candles on it. The candles were lit and put on the cakes to simulate the glowing effect of the moon. The reason they did this is because Artemis is the goddess of the moon. She's also the goddess of hunting, hills, forests, and archery. So you know, a little bit of fuss once a year doesn't go amiss. That's quite a heavy list of jobs to be undertaking. This tradition was later added to in the 18th century by the not-so-ancient Germans, who celebrated their own tradition called Kinderfeste, which I think I'm pronouncing right. This is the closest example we're gonna get of a modern birthday celebration. Kinderfeste involved the classic idea of celebrating a birthday by serving up a cake with a candle on it for each year the person had been alive. This is what we all do today on our own birthdays. So to summarize, Egypt did it first, Rome did it best, and the Greeks liked to eat cake. That's the origin of birthdays.